Hello everyone, in this uh, video um, I'll teach you how you can access um, and download the um, Microsoft Building Footprints uh, dataset, uh, which is um, an AI based um, mapping um, generated uh, by Microsoft, um, which is uh, used for many applications um, and disaster recovery, insurance and uh, whatnot. So if you're interested to download uh, and access this data set using the Earth, the Earth Engine, you know, cloud um, competing, um, this tutorial um, will be the right one for you, okay? So let's get started. Uh, so the first thing is, um, it's just uh, I've already uh, created some um, sample script here. Um, so the first thing is we'll um, download or access using this um, uh, data link, a uh, project uh, set um, um, open data set MS building, which is available using the um, the awesome Earth Engine data sets uh, collection, which are not uh, directly on the Earth Engine archive, but uh, as a separate um, uh, data catalog. Um, so, um, so to access this um, uh, Microsoft or MS Buildings data, um, we can uh, create a variable here, var uh, global uh, dataset. Um, so anyone uh, who's uh, watching this video, uh, if you're new to Earth Engine, um, you can um, Google Google Earth Engine and get started with that. So Google Earth Engine. Uh, EarthEngine.google.com is a cloud API where you can access um, a large um, volume of uh, Earth observation and geospatial data and also do some analysis on the cloud. Um, so the platform has a code editor and using this code editor you can write a JavaScript uh, and visualize your result and monitor some of your, your progress tasks here. So um, there are some example codes um, that you can uh, uh, you, you can use to, to get started. So so you can use this um, to programmatically um, um, you know download and analyze uh, big big um, Earth observation data. So let's, let's get back to our code. Okay, if you're familiar with Earth Engine, then um, so what we're doing uh, here is. Uh, technically, this is a global data set for uh, most most countries around the world. So what we're doing here is technically subsetting um, for a specific country here, in this case, Ethiopia. So let's just um, print that here. So what is it doing is um, it's it's very large, you know, data sets, millions of buildings. So what we're doing here is just subsetting the data for a specific country, in this case Ethiopia, and then uh, print a size using dot size function. Um, so we have about 400,000, um, sorry, so this is, uh, let's see, so 4 million, 4 million data points, okay? For, for entire, in, in it, within enti the entire Ethiopian uh, region, you have, uh, nearly over 4 million uh, buildings, all right? That's for the entire country. Okay, now, so now um, we can create a variable here. Let's just select this. We can create a variable here, MS Building Ethiopia, for specifically subsetting that. So that variable, we can use it later. Um, and so the same um, MS Building global data, but then Ethiopia, just you can specify the country here. Um, so this will give us um, the entire uh, national data set, national building data set, Microsoft building data set, okay. Um, next step is um, even for the entire like Ethiopia or just uh, any country, it's, it's pretty huge data. So what we need is just, um, we'll try to download data for, you know, subset of a country, just um, let's focus in Addis Ababa here. Um, so I'll just create a region of interest to do to create a region of interest or area of interest. I'll use this um, geometry function in Earth Engine. So I'll click. Um, let's just use this um, central Addis Ababa, and then I'll create. I'll rename this geometry as ROI, and 
apply that. So this is my origin of interest. So I'll subset the data for just this side. Let's activate that actually so that we can zoom into the area. Okay. So, so uh, the next function is um, actually uh, subsetting the data by our region of interest. So we'll be only downloading or visualizing the building data set for this uh, area of interest. Okay. That's what we're doing uh, that to achieve that we have used a filter bounds function. And we can print, we can do another print to uh, make sure what the, the total number of, um, um, uh, you know, buildings within this uh, ROI. It's, uh, you can see here, the Earth engine um, is computing, it's busy. Um, so we can wait a little bit and see, um, you know, a total, total, you know, buildings. Um, total number of buildings within this uh, region of interest that we've just created. Okay, so about 100,000 uh, buildings are available within this um, uh, ROI that we just created. Okay, let's um, uh, actually buildings of ETOP, I think. Um, let's rename this. Okay, so. All right. And let's create, um, so what, what this function does is it will uh, display the buildings, um, MS clip here, this is the subset, right? And then just uh, provide a color here, you can do blue or different color, and just let's provide a name for this layer here. When, when we execute this code, you will see this layer here. That's the name of the layer. We can just, um, you know, check and uncheck that. Uh, let's uh, change a couple of, you know, settings here. Uh, zoom level here based on our ROI and also the satellite background. For example, if I um, click here, Google Maps, as soon as I execute this code, it will change the, ba the background uh, image into a satellite data. As you can see here, actually, I can uncheck this, you see? Um, so it was um, Google Maps, and then as soon as you execute that, it will just change it to a satellite data, okay? Excellent. So now we are able to visualize um, the uh, Microsoft buildings. Where's our study area? Okay, here we go. So this is exactly what we are. Um, so it's loading. It's it's as you can see, it's computing. It's it's hundred thousand you know buildings within our this uh, even small uh, study area or just a region of interest um, in Addis Ababa by DOP. Okay. That's a lot of data. And if we can zoom in, we can actually see the different buildings um, um, uh, highlighted in blue color, okay? So this is amazing. This is very powerful. Uh, data set, um, it can be applied in, in, in various applications, very useful applications, humanitarian application, disaster, management and insurance, um, you know, flood impact assessment. And there's a lot of um, uh, use case for this data set. Um, depending on your, your, your interest or area of application, uh, this uh, tutorial provides you an example of how you can access this, um, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, building data set. All right, so the next step is actually to download this data from Earth Engine to um, your local machine uh, and then later be able to use uh, the data set for um, or just access it in a standard GI software such as QGIS or ArcGIS or whatnot. So let's do that. So here we can activate this bit of code here. What this is doing is just exporting this data set um, and it creates a, a folder. Um, GMS, you can change this if you want and then miss clip or just let's see, add this Ababa. Um, let's do Addis Ababa, okay? Let's um, save this and then execute that. So once we execute, it's gonna download. So I'll just go ahead and execute this MS clip. It's a JSON file, um, download. So as soon as this is complete, then I'll have that data in, in my um, Google Drive, All right? Excellent.
All right, as you can see here, we have our JSON dataset on our Google Drive. Let's go ahead and download that by clicking download here from our Google Drive. Uh, let's wait a little bit until this download is complete. Once that's complete, we can um, use it in, in any standard software. All right, um, let's just uh, check that. Um, All right, let's just uh, add this GeoJSON file here from downloads. All right, edit have uh, here. Uh, it might take a while. Um, what is this? All right, add layer, add. Um, so it, it's a large data set, 100,000, uh, uh, you know, features or polygons. So it's pretty large. So uh, let's wait uh, a little bit until this is uh, processing or adding into QGIS, okay? All right, so it sounds like uh, it's complete, excellent. Ooh. All right. So now, um, you know, you can see uh, we were able to visualize our data on our engine. Uh, now, next step is we are able to download this data and open it in a QGIS environment. Excellent. Um, so here you go. And we can visualize this in QGIS. Uh, we can zoom in, actually. Uh, one of the things we can do in QGIS is add a, a background map or a background um, layer uh, let's do actually Google satellite data okay and then let's drag it down and excellent and so as you can see here this is our building data set which uh, we downloaded from uh, the earth engine uh, Google earth engine uh, platform and we are able to um, visualize that um, in, in, in QGIS, so it's pretty um, interesting. And then you can use this data for, for multiple applications as, as I've mentioned earlier. So uh, this is just an example uh, of how you can access the, the Microsoft Buildings dataset, um, access it in Earth Engine programmatically using a code base and you know download it um, and then um, use it, visualize it, or just use it for analysis, further analysis in any standard um, GIS software like uh, QGIS or ArcGIS Pro. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for um, watching.